friends, and also hello enemies. Welcome back to Weekly Allowance, where we love Topo Chico. Anyway, today we are looking at Marvel Legends Wolverine and Sabretooth 2-pack. I think these are the most manly men I've ever reviewed. The packaging just oozes masculinity. Oozes. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's up for you to decide. All right, so we get this nice open window packaging, some appropriate slash marks on the side. 50 years of Marvel, Marvel's Logan and Marvel's Sabretooth, except it's only Marvel's Logan, it's just Sabretooth without the Marvel. Some appropriate illustrations on the sides. Pretty nice, got some spot gloss. You can see the full illustration on the back with some uh, bios. Always fighting, these two, always fighting. Sabretooth's always got some weird fashion with that fur. Does he just wear the fur? Was he wearing the fur before and then got the moniker Sabretooth? Or did he get the moniker first and then he started wearing fur? Rusty razor blade of justice. I'll be honest, the last few reviews I did pretty much all at once, so it's been a while since I've done a review and I kind of forgot how. Slip that bad boy right on out. I like this backing. Just a montage of Sabretooth and Logan fights. They're pretty heavy, pretty secure in their clamshells. Let's see if we can um, force them out. Get out of there. Oh, your fur, your fur, Sabretooth, why? There's too much of it. Don't trust him. All right, we've got Short King Logan and Big Guy Sabretooth. I will start out by saying that it's very hard to get Logan to stand on his own. I don't know if it's just mine, but it seems to be that his uh, legs are mismatched a little. One is slightly shorter than the other. I don't know if like some more uh, messing around with it will get them more even, but as of now, they're they're a little uh, a little uneven. So it is difficult to get him to stand. Sabretooth has no problem standing on his own, even with this uh, top-heavy ruff and head and these shoulders, my god. I will say that even though Logan cannot stand on his own well, I do love his proportions. Appropriately jacked up here, a little bit smaller in the waist and legs, pretty short legs. He's just, he's kind of a short guy, but we all knew that and we all love him for it. I think they did a great job on the proportions. Sabretooth is more of the stereotypical supervillain kind of body type. Very tall, very jacked. Jacked to the gills, except Sabretooths don't have gills. Of course, that may change if you engineer Sabretooth Shark Hybrid, which I would love to see. He's wearing gloves, but he also has claws on his gloves. I guess that's maybe just from reuse of something, but well, I don't know because the glove itself, the fabric, is clearly sculpted on. Are the claws part of his gloves, or are they just so pronounced that they show through the gloves? I still have a lot of questions. That's not a uh, criticism at all, I'm just um, curious. But yeah, fantastic sculpts on these guys. I'm really gravitating more toward Logan. Um, I just like this design better, even though he's just a guy with mutton chops and a sour look on his face. Really great job on the clothing. Tiny little belt buckle. He looks so very upset, but uh, he usually is, isn't he? His lips are very red. Maybe that was intentional, or maybe maybe they were meant to be a little bit more subdued. But Sabretooths are pretty red too. You just can't tell as much because his mouth is open. Chest hair details, arm hair details, tiny little silver buttons. Kind of a subtle fabric texture on the clothing. Now if only he would stand. Sabretooth's costume is so extremely tight, except in the butt for some reason, where you have this little crease of fabric. I really think the fabric should just be like all the way in there, all the way in the crack, just down in there, plunging the depths of that canyon. He has got a very insane expression on, a really nice open mouth expression. You can see all the way back in there. You can almost see his uvula. Really nice paint apps. I don't see anything um, astray. Bloodshot eyes, kind of an angry an angry, ruddy red on his face. Crazy, crazy attention to detail. Really nice fur and hair sculpt. There is some airbrushing on the fur here, but it doesn't extend to the back. The back is a little plain. It seems just to be a little bit of a disparity because Logan's clothes are so detailed, but Sabretooth is just wearing this like Zentai suit, and so it can't be that detailed. You know, it's got some, um, it's got some weird patterns and things like that, and it's clearly showing the musculature underneath. 
it's just a little bit of a um, of a discordant picture, I would say. Once again, not a criticism, just something I am noticing. Sabretooth himself is very heavy. Logan is uh, a little lighter, of course, a little easier to handle. So speaking of handling, let's look at articulation. I like that you can just grab him by the hat and move him around. Good head articulation can move pretty much any way you want. There's no long hair or anything to get in the way. No butterfly joint? Sabretooth has a butterfly joint. Maybe it's just not uh, doable in this kind of figure. But the arm movement is still pretty good. Of course you get a bicep swivel. Double elbow. Oh man, and this double elbow Usually one of my complaints is that the muscles will get in the way of each other, but this one just doesn't seem to be a problem. It just slides on out. It does look pretty strange, but you can easily hide it with a certain angle, and stuff like this doesn't bother me. I am not a stickler for articulation, but I'm also not a stickler for joints like this showing. I like that you can get that movement out of them. And I bet a lot of you do too. Good twist at the torso. Ooh, more twist at the waist. Mm, a tiny bit of crunch. So little that you would almost wonder if it's even supposed to be there. Leg up to the side. Oh, well, Logan, you can do better than that. Come on, man. Oh, no. No leg to the back. His butt's in the way. You barely have a butt. How are you? How is it? How is it getting in the way, Logan? You do have a swivel there. Double knee. Once again, a bit of an awkward joint, but, and of course, twist and rock on those ankles. Oh, did I do the hands? I didn't do the hands. Uh, of course, you've got <laughs> movement on the hands. You've got twist and up and down, because the Wolverine's got to be able to slash. I'm wondering if Sabretooth is going to be as flexible just because he's a bigger dude. Once again, excellent movement on that head. A little bit hampered because of all that fur. You can't really get his head back much. He has got a butterfly joint. Ooh, a very deep one too. Wow. Look at that. Excellent for getting his arms back into an attack pose. He's also got a double elbow. His muscles do kind of get in the way a little bit. He's got crunch right at that torso. Makes up for not having a twist at the chest, but he has a twist at the waist. Once again, great for action poses. Hmm, his leg, his leg feels like it wants to spring back into place every time I lift it up. His doesn't want to go back far either. He's got more of an excuse though. Not much of one, but still. Got a twist, double knee, and rocker, and twist on the ankle. I think you'll definitely be able to get what you want out of both of them. And to help you get what you want out of both of them, they will come with different hands. Sabretooth gets some hands that are kind of curled into claws. Wolverine gets some normal hands where his uh, claws are not extended. Looks like they are grasping hands. He could be grasping a beer, grasping a photo of Jean, whatever you want him to grasp. He'll grasp it. And you get alternate heads. So this Wolverine head is kind of a smirking expression. I'm a little bit surprised that it's not an attack head. It's just kind of a bemused head, but I would have expected them to um, equip him with like an angry attack head. But most entertaining to me is that this head is equipped with a different hat. The default head has a, uh, a brown cowboy hat, and this is a black one with a more pronounced divot in the center. I don't know anything about hats except that I wear them sometimes, so I don't know if these two kinds of hats have different names. If they do and you happen to know what those names are, uh, let me know in the comments. I love hat knowledge. And then we get an alternate saber tooth head where he is grinning maliciously. So mouth technically still open on this one, but all his teeth are showing, they're gritted together, his eyes are a little bit less bloodshot, so you could have them fighting and smirking at one another, uh, like men do, I assume. Speaking of grasping things, remember when I was talking about grasping things? I almost forgot these. Wolverine also comes with a tiny deck of cards for him to grasp. It's very cute and very well detailed. Printing looks great on those. The heads and hands uh, pop on and off really easily, really smoothly very satisfying. The joints are pretty robust, so I'm not worried about breaking them. So big plus. That's a big plus for this set. Now let's take a look at some other figures in comparison. 
if Logan will stand up. He might require some some blue tack to keep him in line. I don't know if it's the blue tack or my my review surface or what, but even the blue tack isn't <laughs> isn't really doing anything. He keeps falling. Logan, come on, man. You're embarrassing yourself and me. All right, so here we have Colossus looking really good with the two of them, trying to break up a fight. Maybe he realizes it's no use and helps Logan fight Sabretooth. He's kind of a pacifist, isn't he, though? I'm not an X-Men expert. The cartoon was a little bit before my time, and I never really read much of the comics until I um, started getting into Deadpool, and then I got into like um, Deadpool and Cable, and then into X-Men from there. But when I was growing up, I had X-Men Evolution, which I really liked. So here we have Age of Apocalypse Sabretooth. His collar is kind of crooked. He's he's much bigger than this saber tooth. He's a he's a big guy. I like the ponytail though, and look, he's got a fully defined buttocks. Mezco Wolverine. We reviewed this Wolverine a while ago, and I was um pretty impressed. The only demerit against this figure that I can think of is that the stand it came with was uh dirty. It had like uncured oil or paint or something on it, and we had to clean that off manually. But it is a an excellent figure. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Sabretooth. Why not White Tiger? Patrick assured me that this would be hilarious. So that's about it. This is a really solid set. Really nice figures. Uh, a pleasure to pose. A pleasure to swap out the parts. Wolverine gets two different hats. Good for him. The Sabretooth figure I thought at first was a little samey. It kind of just reminds me of all the other superhero, supervillain action figure bodies, but I do really like the articulation. It's very smooth. It's easy to move them around. Of course, the sculpt is fantastic. Don't understand the fur whatsoever, but that's, that's a character thing. Someone can explain the fur to me. Is it really just because he's called Sabretooth? Does he get cold? But he only gets cold up here? I don't know. Uh, the Logan figure is the standout, in my opinion. I just love the way he looks. I love the proportions, the details on his outfit. He's a little smaller, but he's more uh, malleable, or at least it feels that way. It's just fun to move him around. So if you are looking for a good Logan and Sabretooth set, I would recommend this for sure. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I do want to let you know that I have a Kickstarter up for a... Um, an enamel pin, and I will put the link below. If you're interested, check it out. If you're not, you know, whatever. We are toy reviewers, toy fans, uh, but we are also freelance artists, both of us. And the unfortunate truth is that as a freelance artist, we gotta always be promoting. And so here I am, promoting. And the Kickstarter isn't just a pin. You also have options for a sticker, a charm, a print, and maybe, if we're lucky, a sticker book. But that's it for today. As always, likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. I'll see you guys on the next one.